In this video, we see how I turned this old, rusty 2001 Toyota Tacoma's frame into a salt water warrior, ready for the most extreme salty winter environments. The first thing I needed to do was to remove all the existing rust. To do this, I used several tools, including a hammer and screwdriver to scale away the rust, a wire brush, a grinder with a brush attachment, safety goggles, and a respirator. I also used a cheap scaler I bought at Harbor and Freight. I took my time to make sure I got all the rust I could possibly see. I went from corner to corner working my way throughout the whole frame. Then I sprayed the whole frame down heavily with Purple Power Degreaser. I used a whole bottle. I let it sit for about 10 minutes, then came back and power washed it like crazy. Then I let it sit for 24 hours for the frame to completely dry. Next I sprayed Rust Cutter on every nook and cranny of the frame. This stuff is the best I've ever used, but you'll want to make sure you have your goggles and respirator and a pair of gloves because it's basically acid. Also, this stuff can stain the driveway, so use precaution or tarps. I used a whole gallon of this rust cutter because I also did the inside of the frame. To do the inside of the frame, I bought this undercoating gun by TCP off Amazon. And it comes with these tubes that allows you to stick it through the holes on the frame to spray the undercoat. And also, I used it to spray the rust cutter inside of the frame. After I sprayed the rust cutter, I let the truck sit for three days to make sure it was completely dried. So I had a couple kind of rust spots in the paint that I hit with that rust killer. Hit one here. Um, and right here, there's a little bit there I just sanded it out and I hit with that rust uh, killer and it dripped and look at this it took off the clear coat and the paint so do not hit this stuff on the paint and let it drip i can't believe it did that so once the rust cutter is dry it will turn the metal like a white kind of a white looking color basically saying hey i'm ready to be painted Before I actually started the paint, I wanted to hit it again with the pressure washer just to make sure all the dirt and anything else was off of the frame. And it says you can paint right over this rust cutter, but I decided to put a layer of primer on there, which was kind of pointless because after I primed the whole frame in gray, I went back with my grind wheel again because some areas didn't look right. And I basically did the whole process again where i went over all and scaled off all any more rust that i just happened to miss and then i also um sprayed more of the rust cutter on it power wash it off and then we get to the point now where i'm actually spraying the black paint so the paint i'm using for this is rust oleum's rust reformer I picked it up at Harbor Freight. They also have it on Amazon. It's about $8 or so a can. And I went through about nine cans to do the whole frame. Thank you. 
As for undercoating, I'm using a newer product called Surface Shield. It's similar to fluid film and wool wax, but it claims to last twice as long. From the research I've done and experiments I've watched comparing the three, Surface Shield is the best. It comes in spray cans, or you can buy a gallon and use it in an undercoating gun. Since I just purchased the undercoating gun to spray the rust cutter, I decided on the gallon so I could really coat this bad boy up. I sprayed it in every nook and cranny and also used the hose attachment for the inside of the frame. What's nice about this undercoating is that it creeps. So if you're flying down a gravel road and a rock chips your paint, this will creep in and prevent any rust from forming. It will also suffocate existing rust to prevent it from getting worse. This truck has so much surface shield on it, it couldn't rust if it tried. <laughs> 